Yeah, I'm always hungry. Um. <laughs> hey everybody, this is Sasha D. Julian. I'm a professional climber and we're here at my house in Boulder, Colorado. I am going to show you guys what I like to eat for dinner. I just had 12 friends from my university come out and visit me and I've got some Smirnoff ice. It's all like sauces and alcohol and scotch. Yeah, I actually, I love scotch. I make my own energy bars. They're held together by honey and dates. Every morning I have eggs. I'm big into sardines and oysters, but like, you know, I make smoothies a lot, and so I have a lot of like frozen fruit. I can show you the disorganized nature of my kitchen though, and one thing about me is I always have snacks. Drawer. <laughs> So this is from skiing. Learned this from my dad. I always bring these in my my ski jacket pocket because he would spike his hot chocolate with Bailey's and it was genius. As soon as I feel like I'm getting sick, I get 50 million vitamins. Any superfood you say is like beneficial for my body, I will buy it and try it out. Often when I get home, I'm really hungry and want something quick and healthy. One of my go-tos is using my barbecue. I am going to make salmon on the barbecue. I'm marinating it in soyaki sauce, a type of teriyaki sauce. Then I have some lemons to go with it, some nori. Since it's summer, I also want to try out a new dish. One of my friends who also lives here in Boulder is Alan Lim and he has this book called The Feed Zone. It's a book written for athletes. This is summer melon soup, and I also am a big fan of really awesome salads, so I'm gonna make a salad. I have the barbecue turned on, and the salmon has been marinated. I'm gonna cut up some lemons. I actually, every morning, have a full lemon in warm water, the first thing that I do in the morning. So I always have a lot of lemons around. When life gives you lemons, wrap them up in tin foil on the barbecue with salmon. Drizzle a little bit more of the teriyaki sauce on top. Put a little lemon juice on this. Just adorn it with some lemon on top because if you haven't noticed, I like lemon. This is ready to go out. I actually will also bring the cornbread out. I like to barbecue the bread to make it warm and tasty. We're good to go. Give that about 15 minutes. So next, I'm gonna make the salad. I've got some baby spinach and arugula. And I've got some beets, avocado, lemon, olive oil, and balsamic vinegar. Throw this in the bowl. Beets are really high in antioxidants. I've read a lot of studies about how good beets are for athletes. When you massage avocado and olive oil and salt in with the salad, makes it way better. Nutritional yeast, just a bit that I'll massage in with the olive oil and avocado. Get all of these flavors mixed in there. Now I'm gonna put the beets in on top of the salad. I grated some Parmesan cheese, so I can sprinkle that on top. And as a final touch, I have some figs. So that's the salad. So this is a food processor. Three cups of cubed watermelon, half the lemon. Good. Throw that in there. That timer is the salmon. Let's go check it. Oh man, it smells good. I'm gonna take the salmon off, keep it in the tin foil so it stays warm, and let's finish up the soup. One half cup of apple juice. Apple juice here. Just put it in there. Now we've got four to five fresh mint leaves. Agave. Last step. Just gonna drizzle it on top. I think that was about a tablespoon. And I'm just gonna pulse it. Looks like soup to me. I've got some vanilla yogurt to put on top of it. And I've got my friend Nelly over here, so I am going to plate for two. Plate this with the salmon figs. So I should put the soup next to the salad. Bon appetit. Salute. Cheers. I live in Boulder if you want to come by for dinner. I'm kidding. <laughs>